the National Track Championships. National Track Championships. National Track Championships. Real Talk Alert. Welcome back to Season 2, Episode 3 of Wheel Talk, the podcast all about EUCs and the community. It has been a while since we recorded one. Um, do we have any excuses? Lots, I'm sure. <laughs> we have lots of excuses, which we're not going to bore you with. We've been flat out here. We've been... The shop has just been going gangbusters. We've been expanding. I've been on annual leave over in America, which we'll talk about. Um, we've been recruiting. Uh, it's been a crazy couple of months, I think, since we did the last podcast, like six, eight weeks, something like that. So today's episode will be a reasonably quick one. We've got some really nice topics to talk about. Uh, a little bit of a shop update, talk about a race event coming up, uh, talk about what we've got on the water about to arrive, um, and what's already out of stock, because this one took a couple of extra weeks to get to us, just due to some um, technical issues they were resolving at the factory, and in that two weeks, we sold most of it, so we've got another shipment on the way, uh, and then we'll talk about some upcoming models and pre-orders and stuff like that we're doing. So we jump straight in with a shop update. Um, as you probably know, we're getting ready to move. Uh, in June, which we're very excited about. First or second week. First or second week, yeah. Um, we will announce the location very soon. It is staying in Brisbane, um, but it's going to be a lot more central, a lot easier to get to, and a lot a lot bigger. Which not is... too far from where we are. No, not but, too far. Um, yeah. But yeah, just in a, a nicely, easily accessible location, and well, no, we're not, a bunch not, more space. And we're not, not telling you for any particular reason. We just want to get all the leases signed. Um, and then we will uh, announce the location and we'll do like a, a little bit of a tour through the shop once we can access it. Hmm. Um, but before we do that, because you probably see all those, you know, buy, 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 hurry, 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 fire, going out of business sales, we want to sell as much of the stock instead of move it. So hmm. just, I guess, to announce, you know, keep, if there's anything you ever wanted to buy from e riders, keep it on our website. And if it isn't on sale, shoot us an email and ask us for a better price bunch of accessories heaps protective of, gear yeah. all the bits and pieces that even spare parts like downstairs parts, I'll, I'll overlay a little image right now if there's ever go... a spare part that you've been thinking about getting but you just haven't yeah. bothered um hit us up like when we're talking rs shells exn shells what have we got 18 xl l shells pedals from here to the wazoo yeah. Um, seats, lazy rolling, uh, not lazy rolling, uh, what's the cover from New Zealand called? Roll cover. Roll cover, roll cover yeah. from New Zealand. We've got so much stuff. If it's not Fox more... gear. <laughs> Lots of Fox gear. It's a little bit of a joke. We jumped into Fox and got a little bit too much. So, But if it's not on sale, just shoot us an email and say, hey, can you do a better price? And we probably will. So have a look at the website. If there's any parts, motors, anything. We will preface it by saying, though, that the, the unicycles aren't on sale right now because we are struggling we don't have to any. have enough to have the the right units on hand yep. um so yeah please um you know we love to offer good value but we can't offer you any substantial discounts on that sort of uh, product we have, line we have, at the moment. we have community dis discounts and we do yeah so, you yeah, know about you, those and if you don't if you're in a local group join a group and just look go into the local group and search e-writer discount and you'll find some we do have discount mm -hmm. codes um but yeah as you said but yeah, yeah help us uh, grab a good deal on you know all those little miscellaneous things from yeah. protective gear, spare parts, accessories. If you could see behind us right now, I'm looking at boots and helmets and lazy roll-in All jackets sorts of bits and, and pieces knee and guards and ends. Chargers, so many chargers. <laughs> mm. Anyway, um, the one big thing we are going to put officially on sale, and there'll be an email that goes out, is the last of our lazy roll-in. Yes. Um, we, when we first brought lazy roll-in in, uh, we got a shit ton of it because mm. the more you get, the better price you get it at. We've got a little bit left, like I'm thinking 30 jackets, but yeah. they are odd sizes. So if you are a smaller rider, that's it. Jump Small on. and medium, and we're pretty much out of the the large and extra, extra large. Yeah, there's one large left in the black hoodie. Yes. Um, but we've got a whole heap of the reflective ones in small and medium, the jackets, the windbreakers, and the dark greens and the blacks windbreakers as well jump onto the website have a look at the lazy rolling um and yeah get yourself an absolute steal of a bargain hmm. next one new delivery arriving hopefully monday yes so the, the vessel list. has docked into the port yeah. last night so if you're waiting on a lynx it's officially in queensland which is good news uh we're just waiting for them to do all the customs and and deliver it to the shop here so we can qc them and, and ship them out yes as well as on that shipment i'm going to read through the list because it's, it's pretty extensive um, so links are coming. They are all sold out. Maybe one. Maybe one. It's, yeah. 
We say they're sold out, but you it's never know. It's just that there are so many variants and people yeah. mix and match and change their minds along the way. And sometimes we have to do some switches. Um, A2s, we've got some A2s coming in the shipment, but they are fully sold out, unfortunately. They were, they just didn't really do anything for a few months. So we ordered a small Oh, batch. they didn't have batch. They. We were waiting and waiting, mm. on, and they. No, what I mean is we didn't. Just... No, what I mean by that is we didn't really get much interest in them. Yeah. And then all of a sudden yeah. they've just exploded, and we've got people asking for A2s every second day. So, the A2s are coming, but they are fully sold out. This is our second delivery. Uh, Sixteen Xs. We got a top up because of the um, Polo players. Yep. They've sold out as well. So the, yeah, the Sixteen X, S18. They've been some popular models yep. for Polo. So, um, we've we are going to get more. Yeah, we're just we're just. Having to take um, the units as needed and, and not store quite as much. Um, also, 14Ds. We've got 14Ds coming. There are some left of those. Um, I think there's two or three left. V11Ys. Uh, that's got, the new and improved. That's the new upgraded V11, V11 with the Raptor motion. board and the slightly slightly bigger motor and top speed. Hmm. We've got a couple of left of those available. Uh, the S22 Pro plus which is 50 SLs. 50 SLs we've got I think one or two left of those available out of the shipment uh, V14 we've got the 50 S's and the 50 E's arriving uh, T4 Pro there's one left so that's the upgrade from the T4 so it's got the upgraded board upgraded motor and green, the 50 SLs and the green room of course which is the, the main tire. upgrade street. um yeah and street tire street yeah tire. that's right and street yeah. tire so they changed the numbers of MOSFETs and things like that in there um it's like an yeah, it was like an upgraded board, um, better performance, but and a slightly change to the motor, right? Mm -hmm. C32 motor. C32 now. from a C30. C30. That's right. So, yeah. uh, and the last one, which is probably the most exciting one, and there is only one left, and that's the AT Max. So we've got one left in the shipment. The rest have been pre-sold. Uh, so if you are keen, jump on there, find the discount code, and snatch it up because that I think that'll be gone before they even arrive on Monday. Uh, that's. All I think we've got coming are oh, K6s. We are sold out of K6s. Um, so stop calling. We, we get sort of <laughs> funky's ringing asking about the, the seated scooter that does 100. Um, we're sold out of those and we're not going to get another delivery at least until we another shipment to keep on hand until we move into the new warehouse. They do take up more space, a lot of space, really heavy, cumbersome, and expensive to ship. If you really want one, you can we will special order you one in. Um, but I think we do need two. Do we need to have a minimum of two to get a oh, okay yeah. price? Five. Five. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, if you want to buy five, give us a call. <laughs> uh, what else? Is that it for the stock that's coming? Oh, we've got access to dual motor scouts from State of Bikes. Yep. X2. In this shipment. Yep. So the X2s are coming. Yep. Dual battery, dual motor versions. <laughs> now, now you got me thinking. Is there anything else besides that? Accessories. Loads of accessories. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And a few parts. A few parts we went on. That's exciting. Ken will be happy about that. Um, all right, quick shop update. So continue with the shop update, should I say. We have a new staff member. We do. Cue the applause. Yay. Yay. Um, so welcome we, to our team. Welcome to the team, yeah. So we've hired on, we were specifically looking for a marketing role. Mm. Um, but then we, I guess, based on a, a number of factors, but more specifically, I guess, uh, the feedback we were reading that we were dropping the ball a little bit on customer service. We were trying a new system. New and systems it and was, yeah. it was not working properly and when we were missing a bunch of things. So the thing we implemented to try and make it more consistent ended up actually making it yep. even harder than normal to, to um, yeah. But, but we've listened to you. We've, but what we've done is we've listened to the public. We've specifically brought someone on now. So it's a marketing slash customer service role. Uh, her name's Amy. Really, really lovely um, person. If you call, be nice. She's learning about EUC. She's not coming from the EUC background. That's so it. please have patience. Don't just expect her to know who you are when you call. Uh, maybe introduce yourself, tell her what wheel you've got, and we'll she will hopefully direct. get her in on the next. And we'll get her on the next podcast to say hello, but we're also going to be hopefully teaching her to ride on Friday. Yeah, we'll have to hopefully. video that and that might be use a whole it as a series. Yeah, yeah learn to ride. Of, exactly. Yeah, how to learn to ride. Uh, so that's customer service and marketing. So exciting. So you should see lots but lots more posts and you should see a faster response time as far as emails, live chats and, and phone calls and so on. That's right. There's so many channels now that oh. we we can be contacted by and as a result of that, and it's only a small team trying to, you know, remember who's responded to who. And, and to be honest, we actually get people mm. contact on more than one mm. uh, platform at the same time. So oh. ultimately, when we're trying to respond, it's really you've got to coordinate with the team to, to work yep. it out. So that was why we were looking to implement the new uh, platform where it integrates in all the channels of uh, communication through Insta, Facebook, Messenger. Mm. 
web chat, emails, etc. Um, and we'll have a new ticket system coming uh, for managing service jobs more effectively and keeping uh, customers up to speed on 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 where those sorts of yep. um, repair jobs are at. Um, but yeah, it's only good things from here. We just got to yeah. work on implementing them. And exactly. But we're getting there. Mm. Yeah. Side note: What do you think of the neon? I know it doesn't say e-riders. It is coming though. So we we ordered this. That's and we our are, state of bikes one. That's the state of bikes one. We're so happy with how this came out. We have put an order in for some e-rider ones. So looking forward to. Hopefully it. on the next podcast, depending on how quickly I can get the credit card off Steve, we'll have a e-riders neon up there for the next uh, next podcast of wheel. We should get a wheel talk one done. Yeah, we could. Comment below. Should we do an e-riders logo or a wheel talk logo? I think uh, we should do wheel talk maybe. Maybe we'll get one of each. Um, upcoming models. I've just skipped one. I'm going to come back to that one. Um, upcoming models and pre-orders. So we've been getting questions but not orders about these next two wheels. So we just want to put it out to, to you guys and girls, the audience, the viewers, the customers. Oops. Uh, the Falcon and the M10 Mini. Hmm. Is this something you're interested in? I'm going to let Steve talk about this because this is his wheelhouse. He's done the research. Um, but if it's something you're interested in, now's the time to do the pre-order because we can get them in about four weeks, right? Four or five weeks, yeah, they're, depending they're on... currently yeah. working on the production. So, so, Steve, tell us about the Falcon. Oh, the Falcon. So, 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 let me cut you off. You may remember we couldn't get the Falcon. That's right. We can luckily, now. Luckily, Jason was watching for Thank you. We'll talk your e-wheels for, for watching this so he apparently watches every episode yeah and he said guys you can have the falcon right i'm not sure if that's true we're making it up but i'm assuming it is well, we have access to the falcon now, exactly so we now have access to the falcon so tell so, us about the falcon steve the falcon is basically pagoda's idea of the taking the a2 and adding suspension and improving its performance so it I just saw a video posted yesterday showing from Ronan mm. a quick little 10 second, you know, they had at one of the expos they were at, um, they were whizzing around on it. It looked pretty deep, pretty neat. Um, but yeah, look, not not everyone loves small wheels. But I, I really enjoy the smaller wheels, the small diameter wheels. It is a 14 to 15 inch um, diameter wheel and it sort of comes with a, a street tire. Yeah, it's a cool tire. But, um, but we've been really impressed by the a2 yeah, uh, when we've we really had it here and um the falcon just looks like a pretty neat you know mm. fun wheel just to sort of jump around on basically mm -hmm. um it, it it specs aren't overwhelming um but they are 50 SLs so that they can handle the discharge rate um suspension on a little sort of 14 15 inch wheel yeah look it, it's not been done before, so, uh, you know, I, I'm really keen to see uh, some more footage of the model, but it looks pretty neat. Um, we'll chuck it up on the screen. Yeah. And, um, yeah, 900 watt hour, uh, 1500 watt motor, and a, a street tire. And they've gone with the, the popular trend of uh, making the, the rim orange. And orange? The, I haven't seen that before. Yeah. And the little handle... Uh, sort of bars yeah. at the front orange. I'm sure by by the by the time this is out, there will be a Falcon Pro, and then a Fal then a Falcon Plus Pro, right? Extreme Falcon Max. Actually, speaking of that, oh. rewind it, rewind a little bit, and you can tell me. You can just go, don't say anything. Um, did I hear that? Did I see somewhere that there was going to be a T4 Pro Max? Almost. Almost. It's not. It's not a. It's it's. It's. The idea is being thrown around, okay. waiting for feedback from at dealers what, and the... And, and at what the, point does it just become a master? <laughs> it's like... I don't know. I don't know. There's... I, I think they would switch out the word pro and make it max. Yeah. If they were going to go ahead with it. But it does up the price by a few hundred dollars. And I I think that it... Yeah. Like you said, it's starting to get into the master, master pricing. So I, I really don't know what they could offer um, other than... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, what do people like about the T4? Yeah, that was my next question. Um, like, T4, T4 Pro, is a T4 a wheel that you would ride as a as an awesome street kind of wheel, or would you only ride it off-road? Um, what's your preference? 50 SLs or not? Yeah. Um, Comment below, tell us what you think. Street tyre or knobby? 
because we are we're I guess we're in the point right now where we're trying to decide if we will keep ordering the T4, yeah, or we'll just go straight to the T4 Pro. We've sold quite a number of T4s, yep. um, and now we're at the point where since we've run out of our latest batch again, we now need to start considering is mm. what's what's the way to bring it in? Like, do we go back to T4 and it's in its early sort of spec uh, version, and or do we start to adopt the Pro or or give recommendation to go to the yeah. the Max? Um, but yeah, let us know what you think. Uh, for Australian dollars, it, it changes from being around that sort of three thousand mark up to about three four to to three seven. Um, so yeah, where's your your optimal hmm. sort of uh, price point for that sort of model? Yeah, because it is a, it is supposed to be a bit of an all rounder. Exactly. Yeah, and it is. Yeah. And, I, and I I remember when we first got the T4s, yeah, eighteen hundred yeah, yeah, watt yeah. hour batteries. So and enjoyable to ride too, like well weighted and yeah. Uh, carrying on with Begoed, and this is more of a statement than a question, but you can add your two cents worth. Um, I was over at EastgateCon last week or the week before, so the Eastgate event over in uh, Las Vegas, and there was loads of EUCs getting around, and I bumped into Law, hmm. or is it Law Laxana? Is that how you say it? I'm not sure how you okay. say it, but yeah. The guy who wears the <laughs> holsters for his phone and... <laughs> Does. He did a fair bit of. Um, he was on the V11 advert. Yeah, he's on the V11 motion. advert, and he did the. Uh, he, did, he did some video, quite a few videos for. Was it Yuko? Yuko, yeah. Yuko in the US, yeah. So when I saw him. I went straight over to him and asked him about the Blitz, which is the mm -hmm. wheel that everyone knows he is collaborating on. And he pulled me aside and he basically said, "This actually got nothing to do with me. It's a rumor that's been started somewhere." Um, so really interesting because I've heard it from multiple avenues mm. that. Begoed and Law were collaborating on the Blitz, uh, which is not. So he wanted. I messaged him. I said, "Hey, can I talk about this on the podcast?" He's like, "Please put put the rumors to rest." Um, but what he did say is that he is going to be working with Begoed in the future. That's right. Um, but on more of a race inspired wheel. Mm. Uh, so I won't talk about. So maybe maybe the initial discussions around the collaboration got got it jumped onto the next idea of wheel that they were wanting and then yeah, he's not maybe. interested in that and then he's never never had a single word or but we, about the blitz, we did so. here as well yeah. that um that it would be developed or co-developed with with law yeah um but it turns out it's not that wheel no so it's interesting it's and, interesting how and it was supposed can... to have been released a week or two ago no two weeks ago two, yeah before, I went away. before you went away yeah, actually exactly. so two and a half weeks ago yep. um and it hasn't been yeah, so interesting interesting Strange. what's going on there but but yeah, so he, the Blitz he, is supposed to be a lightweight racing master. Yeah, that's right. Alternative. Yep. And they were going to use maybe magnesium alloy. I wonder where they got that idea from. Um, <laughs> and it was yeah, it was just supposed to be the ultimate sort of racing wheel mm. uh, that has suspension. Does it? I don't know. Maybe they're yeah. going to drop the Blitz. Does it? Sure. Yeah, that, the, yeah. Blitz, the Blitz is supposed to have suspension. But anyway, yeah. that was just more of my statement than a question. I thought it was really interesting just to show how. Uh, rumors can can spiral out of control. That yeah, you can't have just zero believe everything you hear. No, exactly. Um, also talking about Eastgate Con over there. So Cooler Joe was there again, which was awesome. Um, the EUC family was there. So there's like little kid, like yay high, getting around the track on an M10 Mini and older sisters A2. and yeah, A2. Uh, it was really fun. The not so fun part is at the end of my trip, uh, my plane out of Vegas was delayed and mm. I missed my connecting flight from Vancouver back to Brisbane, which my travel companion and I were very frustrated about. Um, but it was a bit of a blessing in disguise. We actually got to spend the whole day in Vancouver. So I went and got a hotel, woke up the next morning and went and explored and I actually went to the EVs shop. Yes. And for those of you watching from around the world who have multiple dealers, for us or for me as a, as a dealer in Australia, where there's really no one else near us who does it on this scale, it's real. It was so exciting to go into a shop and meet the people who run it and look at their shop layout and have conversations with with their customer service person and their logistics person, and just to see that it's it, they have very similar uh, challenges as, as we do. So you know, you know, it's, it's 16 S's, uh, S16s arriving with bad batteries or the cost of freight to get wheels around. You know, from their shop to customers, um, all these different things. It was it was really exciting, but it was there also are a bunch of challenges, and it is mm. kind of you know when we deal with these frustrations internally, yep. it is kind of nice to know that there are others in the same boat. Mm. But it was um, also really nice but... to come away with some really cool ideas, some mm. something, some things they do, and how they operate. Excuse me, it was really exciting about to bring back even just things like the EUC stands. You know, I've got some really nice close-up photos so we can, when we move, we'll have this really nice shelving unit that they said we're more than happy to, to copy. Uh, and even how they interact with their customers. So 
their merch i said in my video i made a video while i was there um i'll link it down below their merchandise and shop setup is amazing if you've watched any of their videos you've si oh, they're neon and the but it's funny it's not the same in real life um so they they choose their angles very very well for their videos uh when you walk in you're kind of like oh, i can kind of see this is the same shop but it's very very long uh, and it's just multiple zones and yeah, it was really interesting. It was nice to go in there and meet the team uh, and just and talk about I guess uh, Future collaborating or not collaborations future uh, What's the word I'm looking for? We're gonna be talking put it that way So, you know, I think we'll be talking more about EVs and li linking to their products in our videos and, and hopefully they'll be doing the same thing when they do videos about their wheels because I know people watch our videos from all over the world, so why not have a, a nice sort of, I guess, agreement between dealers saying, hey, we, we know EVs, we know they do good work, we know they've got yeah. a good repair center, we know they have relevant they've... content that we think exactly. others should know about, yeah, yeah. and so forth. So that's really exciting. So really nice to meet them, um, and also, then and then yeah. came back. Just to be able to potentially collaborate with dealers so that we have an understanding of what to look for mm. or what to be aware of when it comes to various models, because you know sometimes we we just have to find things out for ourselves yep. when the stock lands yep. and then we got to scramble and and work out how we're gonna yeah uh, manage and, so, and it. sometimes they get stuff a few weeks before us and vice versa sometimes exactly. we get stuff before them exactly. so yeah. i think you mentioned they said something like they S saw our f16 video our wheel talk video exactly. and about s16 batteries mm -hmm. not not being activated and so forth and, and they reached, and out, they reached out immediately and, and yeah. so yeah that sort of thing you know i can see yeah, it's a lot really of value good. yeah a lot of value in collaborating um last topic and that is upcoming events Ooh, and it's exciting. really nice to have a topic called upcoming events mm. we've got one coming up in september i know it seems like a long way away but if you're a legitimate racer then you want this time to start practicing <laughs> there is a national the national track championships hosted by erl electric racing league coming to queensland uh it's at the cool <laughs> Kalula. Kalula Coast uh, Kart Club. Kalula Coast Kart Club. And it's actually over two days. So it's not like we have to bump it in the morning and bump out like we did with Mega Fast race yep. day in the yeah. afternoon. That was... um, 14th to the 15th of September. Really good sized track. Mm. Um, and it's the thing I'm really, really excited about. Uh, again, coming from um, EastgateCon where it was just Eastgate, which is fine because that's what it's designed for. Yeah. This one is Eastgate, EUC, and One Wheel. Which is really cool. Uh, thoughts? You're going to be practicing? You're going to be racing? What are you, are you hoping to put down a PB? Oh, gosh. Um, maybe I'll practice to participate in the commentating. Mm, yeah, well, they did They did reach out and ask if I'd be interested in commentating. Um, yeah. Which, I, which I'd be happy to. I've never just done don't that know. before. I'd be happy to give it a whirl, but I just don't it's know if I'd have time. It's not just EUC riders either, is it? Yeah, and well. also, yes, we will have a marquee yeah. and a Mar setup, yeah. and people will be checking out, you know, doing test rides and yeah but i mean yeah i don't know see how we go i mean because we'll we do know the community so it makes sense yeah it just comes down whether or not we've literally physically have time to be the right ones for it either yeah well i don't know hurry 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 <laughs> what do you reckon um so yeah that's coming up so 14th 15th september all three uh evs is kind of cool and there's a really good size group of races this for yeah. this event yeah so, exactly so yeah it's going to be big because yeah. like if you look back at our past um we'll we'll talk episodes you'll have seen our trip to perth when we did the mega fast mm -hmm. race day with erl in, mega in fast perth. race day mega fast. so that was a great event um but we are talking you know this will be five times i think it'll be five six substantially times substantially bigger than that. larger 100 event and a lot more races and a lot more action mm. so and the really nice thing is that two of the core races from perth taz and jeff um, they went across to Eastgate, Eastgate Con as well mm. and came back with a whole lot of learning. So I know they've already come back and I know Taz, who's part of the ERL, um, they've already started uh, adapting the rules and the, and the layout and basically they, mm. they learned a lot from that weekend over there, the Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, there's going to be like reverse grid, there's going to be um, time trials to find out what, what class you go in. So you're not just going to be lumped in everyone together with all the pros and it's just hoping yeah, the best. Yeah, continuing to refi refine the processes. That exactly. The how I carry out the race. Yeah. So this is going to be really exciting. Uh, you know, as always, I think it's supported by Ezra, which is the electric racing. What's Ezra? I can't remember what it stands for. It's the non for profit arm. It's the non for profit arm of ERL. They have two separate businesses. So they, they do that. So they have all the correct insurances and, and everything. Uh, and it looks like they're going to put on a really good, a really good um, event. We'll definitely be up there with the team. Uh, 
supporting supporting the event and doing demo rides and have a whole lot of merch to hopefully sell and give away so mm. if you're going to be there if you've never met us come to the national track championships I had to remember i was going to say mega fast race day Kalula <laughs> uh one thing don't 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 book at noosa we did some googling it's about an hour's drive right mm. it's about an hour's drive Good inland man. so yeah. if you are going to be looking look at gimpy uh look at gimpy for accommodation and the surrounding areas there are there are a few options there's a few yeah, it's uh about one hour 45 from here north of brisbane yeah about an hour 45 so we'll, we'll stay there the whole weekend we won't drive up and drive back because we'll have all our gear and tents and marquees and Hmm. Yeah, and we'll we'll let Steve. Steve can sleep in the car, keep an eye on the gear. Uh, right, is there anything else? Oh, gosh, there's... it's been a long time. It has. So it we're has. moving. We've got the wheels coming. We've got the shop update. We've got we've the hiring. Been... We've got oh, all the other stuff in the background. I'm sure, we're forgetting something. If you've got any suggestions on what videos you'd like to see, this is actually really important because we 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 make content for for the public, for you guys and girls. But we don't go, oh, I really want to make this song to go film it. So if you've got any content you'd like to see, whether it be a range test on a wheel or an off-road test or a learn-to-ride session, anything, um, comment below, tell us, and we will we will make it happen. Like We've got, we've got, a, big, we've got a big enough team now, and we're we still expanding. We haven't expanded. had the opportunity due to weather and yeah. shortage of time to be able to go exactly. out and do some of the sports that we were wanting to do. Exactly. It's um, coming, though. We're it still, is coming. Started it order, is. We've started ordering some Ultimate Frisbees and some Polo Sticks, so... Jousting. Jousting sticks, you know. Like the guy wanted too much. I told him he was dreaming. Ah, uh, sorry. That's an Aussie joke. Uh, but yeah. Anything else? That's all for now. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. As always, uh, ride safe, and we'll see you on the next video. Real talk alert. 